All right, so if the circle x square plus y square plus ax plus 1 equal to 0 and x square plus y square minus 3x plus y plus 5 equal to 0 intersect orthogonally, then the value of a is. So by orthogonal, they mean that the angle between the circles, which is the angle between the tangent at the point where they touch, that should be 90 degree. So because that's going to happen, uh, what I can do is I can, I can draw centers like this. Right, so this is one of the tangents which is passing through this center, and this is another tangent to this circle which is passing through this center. Right, and the angle over here is 90 degrees. So, if I draw this line, call this D, right, call this distance as D. This is R1, this is R2. So, I so using the Pythagoras theorem, I can say R2 squared plus R1 squared equal to D squared. All right, and let's try to see if this actually works. So, where was the equation? The first equation was this, x squared plus y squared plus ax plus 1 equal to 0. And the second equation was this thing. Okay. So, what is R1 over here? Um, so, R1 looks like it's shifted. So, x plus a by 2 squared plus y squared. That should be, so you got negative 1 plus a squared by 4. So, this is R squared. Or this is R1 squared. Okay, R2 squared is, so you got x minus 3 by 2 squared plus y plus 1 by 2 squared is equal to minus 5 plus um, 3 by 2 squared is just 9 by 4 and this thing squared is 1 by 4. So this should be minus 5 plus I think 5 by 2. So that's going to be minus, wait a second. Okay, that's not how it should be working. Uh, wait, what? something is off yeah so is this actually a circle is this equation a circle so x minus 3 by 2 squared plus y plus 1 by 2 squared right and then you have to add those uh, add those 3 by 2 squared and 1 by 2 squared terms on both sides right yes I did that huh 10 by 4 that's 5 by 2 definitely so this thing is actually minus 5 by 2 i don't get it how can this not be a circle and they still give it okay so let's see if this is actually a circle something is very off in this first question itself. so x squared plus y squared minus 3x plus y plus 5 equal to 0 right so this is going to be x minus 3 by 2 squared minus of 9 by 4 okay and plus y plus 1 by 2 squared right minus um, 1 by 4 plus 5 equal to 0 right this is going to be uh, x minus 3 by 2 squared plus y plus 1 by 2 squared is equal to so this is, yeah this has to be minus 5 plus 5 by 2 right which is minus 5 by 2 so that cannot be equal to r2 square uh, because square is always a positive quantity so this does not make sense so actually yeah first question does not have any answer that's it <laughs> this is a totally weird thing to happen okay i don't get it how did they put this in this question okay let's just move on equation of the radial axis of two circles x squared plus y squared minus x plus 1 and 3 into x squared plus y squared plus y minus 1 equal to 0 is. Uh, so we want the equation of the radial axis. So here's first circle. Okay, here's another circle. And this thing is the radial axis, right? So this circle is x squared plus y squared minus x plus 1 equal to 0. And this circle is um, x squared plus y squared plus y by 3 minus 1 by 3 equal to 0 all right so if i subtract these two equations uh, we should be getting let's see y by 3 mm -hmm, plus x minus 1 by 3 minus 1 equal to 0 so that's going to be uh, y plus 3x minus 1 minus 3 is minus 4 equal to 0 so that's the equation of this radial axis uh, because when this is 0 and that is 0, this is obviously 0. And once again, when this is 0 and that is 0, this is obviously 0. And this happens at 
two points so this is a linear equation and it is passing through these two points which means it's actually uh, the line which is passing through these two points which should be the radial axis right and actually we don't even care if these circles actually intersect because even if they don't intersect uh, so suppose they don't intersect all right okay i should just erase it like this so suppose two circles don't intersect and then we want, want to find the radial axis how do we do it so you take this circle oops it's not a circle anymore <laughs> you want a circle so you got a circle like this and you got another circle like this and these two are not intersecting okay and you want to find uh, the radial axis how do you do it so okay wait uh, yeah so we just have to use the power concept over here so suppose this guy is the radial axis and you got this point over here the power of this point with respect to this circle is zero and the power of this point actually not zero something and the power of this point with respect to that point is something uh, so how do you find the power well s1 is given by x1 square plus x plus y <laughs> y1 square uh, plus i don't know whatever the general equation is maybe it was like 2gx1 plus 2hy1 plus f yeah yeah it was something like that plus f equal to zero i don't know something like that so you just put the coordinates x1 and y1 into the equation of the circle and that's gonna give me the uh, the power of the point so the power of point of this point uh, yeah that is equal with respect to this circle and that and that circle that pretty much means that uh, the value you get when you put uh, those coordinates into the equation actually I should say the left hand side of the equation that is the same thing uh, for both of the circles and that's exactly what we uh, do by subtracting them so we subtract them so that that should become zero right their difference must be zero as they are the same thing uh, so yeah this method actually works even if the circles don't intersect okay let's move on to the next question Hey, but okay, we didn't even write the radial axis. Let's just do it once again. So it's y by 3 minus 1 by 3 plus x minus 1, right? Which has to be equal to 0. So that, that gives me y minus 1 plus 3x minus 3 equal to 0. So y plus 3x equal to 4. That is the line. So y plus 3x equal to 4. That's the radial axis. Okay, the next question. The radial center of the three circles x squared plus y squared equal to a squared and x squared okay x minus c squared plus y squared equal to a squared and x squared plus y minus b squared equal to a squared is okay the radial center of these three circles this is weird hmm. maybe i should try drawing them because they are all having the same radius right so maybe i can actually draw them okay so let's try drawing them so we got the coordinate axis like this uh the first circle is like that so it is centered around the origin so this has radius a and centered around the origin the second one is at x equal to c and y equal to zero so maybe over here that is where its center should be and it's its radius is once again a oops stroke is right just magnify this a little okay so that's mm -hmm. the other circle and then finally we also have some circle which is the y axis so maybe this point is b and then you're going to have something like that okay and basically we want to find the radial center so where will the radial axis intersect so you can find this line and then you can find this line and then wherever this intersect they intersect that's the radial center so we're going to do the same thing so let's just find this line first all right so the equation of this circle right this this one uh, 
where was it that was this one right x squared plus y minus p squared equal to a squared and then the equation of this circle it was x squared plus y squared equal to a squared so we can just subtract that to get this radial axis right so subtracting that we are going to get that x y x squared gets cancelled a squared gets cancelled so it's just y minus p squared minus y squared equal to zero in other words um oh wait a second this is really weird okay so maybe minus b into 2y minus b equal to zero okay so clearly minus b cannot be zero because then this circle would be the same thing as this circle so that doesn't make sense so what that means is 2y equal to b that should be this uh, line right so y equal to b by 2 okay so now we know the y coordinate of this point at least let's try finding this line uh, so this another circle this circle is x x minus c squared plus y squared equal to a squared and this circle is x squared plus y squared equal to a squared so once again we're just gonna subtract that so um minus c into 2x minus c equal to 0 so x has to be c by 2 all right so this x coordinate is also c by 2 so this point is c by 2 comma b by 2 okay that should be the radial center so c by 2 comma b by 2 next question the equation of the circle which passes through the point 2a comma 0 and whose radial axis is x equal to a by 2 with respect to the circle with respect to the circle x squared plus y squared equal to a squared will be so it's a circle which passes through this point and its radial axis is uh, x equal to a by 2 okay nice uh, so now how do we do it yeah so I guess that should be like that. So maybe let's just scale this line up. So it's like 2x minus a equal to 0. That's the line, right? That's the radial axis line. So let, let's, let's just scale it up. Time something, I don't know, say lambda. So x squared plus y squared minus p squared minus whatever the LHS of uh, that circle is. That should be this line, lambda times 2x minus p, right? Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. So that's gonna tell me that actually I set that in minus. Okay, just let's just switch this. So minus of that and plus of this. This is lambda. Okay. So this LHS of that circle that should be x squared plus y squared minus a squared plus lambda times two x minus a. Okay, cool. So and this LHS should also be equal to zero, right? Because LHS is equal to zero. That's the equation of a circle. Okay. Uh, and we are told that this is passing through 2a comma 0 so if we plug in 2a comma 0 into this equation it should be satisfied so let's just do that uh, so 2a it's got this 4a squared 0 that's gone minus a squared plus lambda times wait a second 2a right so 2a minus a that's just that is a equal to 0 p cancels this is 3a so lambda equal to minus 3a that should be cool Right, so x squared plus y squared minus a squared and then minus 3a times this stuff. So minus 6ax, okay, and um, plus 3a squared right, equal to 0. So x squared plus y squared minus 6ax um, plus 2a squared equal to 0. That should be the equation. x squared plus y squared minus 6ax plus 2a squared equal to 0. Let's just see if 2a comma 0 once once again works on this so 4a squared right this is going to be 4a squared this is 0 minus 6 times 2 is 12 a squared plus 2a squared oh wait a second this does not work <laughs> this does not work oh yeah this definitely does not work because it is 2a right so this thing should be 4a not not 2a so this is going to be 3 lambda so this is 3 lambda over there so actually lambda is just minus 1a okay, that should make it better so lambda is minus 1a so this equation should be x squared plus y squared minus a squared minus 2ax 
um, plus a squared, so this actually cancels, right? So x squared plus y squared minus 2ax equal to 0. Let's see if 2a comma 0 works on this. So 4a squared plus 0, yeah, minus 4 squared, that equals to 0, very correct. That's nice. So that's the equation which you wanted. Can just erase all this stuff. Okay, x squared plus y squared minus 2ax equal to 0. Next question. Uh, prove that the circles x squared plus y squared minus 6x minus 8y plus 24 equal to 0. And x squared plus y squared minus 8x minus 6y plus 24 equal to 0 meet orthogonally. Oh, this is something which maybe we can do. So, okay, let's just draw these two circles. The first circle is x squared plus y squared minus 6x minus 8y plus 24 equal to 0. So that's like x minus 3 squared plus y minus 4 squared equal to. So 3 squared plus 4 squared is 25. 25 minus 24 is 1. Okay, cool. So this is going to have a radius of 1 and it is centered around 3 comma 4. Okay, a radius of 1. And then you got another circle. Okay, this circle is x squared plus y squared minus 2x minus 2y minus 7 equal to 0 so x minus 1 squared plus y minus 1 squared equal to so 7 plus 1 plus 1 that's 9 which is r squared so r should be 3 i should, I should say r2 maybe. so r2 equals to 3 so this thing is 1 this thing is 3 where is it centered 1 comma 1 okay uh, what's this distance? So this distance is square root of L3 minus 1 is 2. So 2 squared plus 3 squared. So that is, uh, wait a second, 2 squared and 3 squared. Hmm. That's square root of 13. Okay. Something seems off, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, something definitely is not correct how can we prove that these are orthogonal if there is these are actually not orthogonal oh oh <laughs> this is this circle which i took okay that's that's really bad they were talking about this circle not not that one okay this is bad this is really bad so this is uh, it they were talking about this circle so x squared plus y squared minus 8x minus 6y plus 24 equals to 0 so x minus 8 okay minus minus 4 squared plus y minus 3 squared equals to uh, 1 correct so this radius should be 1 and the coordinates are 4 comma 3 so yes this thing is square root 2 and that is equal that thing squared is 2 which is equal to 1 squared plus 1 squared so yes these actually meet orthogonally that's nice so this is proved yeah next question equation of the circle orthogonal to orthogonal to the two circles x squared plus y squared minus 6x plus 8 equal to 0 and x squared plus y squared minus 2x minus 2y equal to 7 okay minus 7 equal to 0 passing through the origin is oh that's really nice so it's because it is passing through the origin uh, let's just use this equation x squared plus y squared equal to r squared and Okay, cool. So let's just draw this First of all, what is this circle? It's the radius of that circle um, What's the center first of all so it has to be 3 comma 0 and radius is um, So 9 9 minus 8 that's that's 1 Okay, what about this? Wait a second, where is x? Okay, this is just a circle. Right, so this is 1, 1. Mm -hmm. And the radius is 3, right? Because 7 plus 1 plus 1, that's 9. So radius is 3. Okay, so this circle is uh, based at 0, 0, and the radius is r, right? So what do we want? So 0, 0 to 3, comma th 0 the distance is 3 so 3 squared is equal to r1 square which is r squared plus r2 square which is 1 okay so r squared is 9 minus 1 which is 8 
okay what about uh, this and that hmm. is this correct right circle orthogonal to the two circles and passing through the origin <laughs> that's a lot of lot of restrictions okay uh, 0 comma 0 to 1 comma 1 that distance is uh, that distance is square root 2 so it should be 2 2 is equal to r squared plus r2 which is like 9 wait what <laughs> that doesn't make sense that just doesn't make sense okay something is not correct oh no it, it's passing through the origin it's not once again it's the same mistake I should stop doing these mistakes okay so it's passing through the origin it is not necessarily centered at the origin uh, yeah that's a problem how do I do it how do I do it uh, is there something special about these two circles do these intersect or something I don't know uh, it has to be orthogonal these two circles okay how just how mm. oh wait we know that d squared equal to r1 square plus r2 square right so i should say r squared because that's the thing which we are trying to find so r squared is equal to d squared minus r1 squared guess what this thing this thing is the power right this is the power of the point wait that's nice the power of the center of that circle right that is that's actually r squared oh that's really nice wait oh, oh okay that means that this this center of the circle is actually on the on the radial axis oh that is really nice that's really nice so this is equal to d squared minus r1 squared uh, and it is also equal to d squared minus r2 squared so for this guy it is r1 for this guy it is r2 right that's nice so this should be lying on the uh, on the radial axis okay nice that's that's good so let's try it out uh so what's the radial axis of these two circles the radial axis of these two circles is when you subtract that so minus 6x plus 8 plus 2x plus 2y plus 7 equal to 0 uh, so minus 4x plus 15 plus 2y just hope i'm correct equal to 0 yeah so 2y equal to 4x minus 15 maybe that's the radial axis just 2y minus 4x plus 15 equal to 0 cool so that's the radial axis uh no problem okay what else do we want mm. so d squared minus r1 squared it has to be passing through the center right uh, through the origin right so zero comma zero hmm and it is centered around here can we somehow okay Ah, uh, okay, this is getting hard. It also has to be orthogonal to those two circles. Okay, so it's R squared is also when you put the center into this equation. No, wait, not that equation. Uh, the equation of the circles, right? This and that. But how? So the center lies on this line, sure. When you put the coordinates of the center into this equation, you should get r squared. How does this help us? Okay, okay, wait a second. If it lies on that, does that also mean that it's actually a diameter? It's the diameter. Okay, nice. I don't know. This is getting really, really bad. Uh should we just use okay let's just let's just do that in that case so y equal to 2x plus 15 by 2 okay so let x be equal to alpha so this should be 2 alpha plus 15 by 2 right 
uh, yeah okay let's let's deal with that so if x is alpha then this should be the coordinate of y so alpha comma 2 alpha plus 15 by 2 assuming that's the center and we can just put these coordinates into one of these circles and we should get uh, the value of the radius right actually radius squared so it really is x minus alpha squared plus y minus 2 alpha plus 15 by 2 squared equal to so let's put these coordinates into this equation okay so alpha squared plus 2 alpha plus 15 by 2 squared minus 6 into alpha right 6 alpha plus 8 cool that's up that's r squared isn't it nice so now what yeah so let's deal with this and that and that okay so it should be x uh okay x minus alpha that gets cancelled so x into x minus 2 alpha plus y into y okay this should be in brackets y minus of 4 alpha plus 15 correct yes is equal to minus 6 alpha plus 8 okay cool and also they told us that it is passing through the origin so if we put 0 comma 0 into this we should get uh, a satisfactory result right so put 0 comma 0 on this this cancels this complete term cancels this complete term cancels so you just get minus 6 alpha plus 8 equal to 0 hmm. so alpha is just 8 upon 6 which is 4 upon 3 so let's put this value into this right so x into x minus 8 upon 3 plus y into y minus uh what's this value so 4 alpha that's 16 upon 3 plus 15 right yes so 16 plus 45 upon 3 which has to be 1 1 carried on so 61 upon 3 so y minus 61 upon 3 equal to negative 6 alpha plus 8 which is 0 correct that's really nice so let's multiply this by 3 so this should be uh, 3x squared minus 81 no minus 8x okay minus 8x plus 3y squared minus 61y equal to 0 that is the equation of the circle okay 3x squared plus 3y squared minus 8x minus 61y equal to 0 let's check once again if this passes through 0 0 yes obviously it does and this is orthogonal well we don't care now because at least we know the method cool let's go to the next question yes everything let's go to the next question okay find the equation of circle cutting orthogonally the three circles okay three circles this is getting harder hmm okay orthogonally three circles huh? okay so once again we can do the same thing that its center should be lying on the radial axis right if it if it uh, intersects two circles orthogonally and now we have three circles which means it should be on all three of those radial axes which we get by pairs uh, so that means it's actually the radial center <laughs> this was easy this was easier than expected okay so the radial center is the center of this circle not bad so let's just find uh, two radial axes first of all let's subtract this equation from that equation so 5x minus 5y plus 9 plus 2x minus 3y plus 7 equal to 0 so 7x mm -hmm, minus 8y plus 16 equal to 0 cross equation and let's subtract this second equation from that okay so 5x minus 5y plus 9 minus 7x plus 9y minus 29 equal to 0 cool so that should be that should give me uh, minus 2x plus 4y minus 20 equal to 0 in other words minus x plus 2y minus 10 equal to 0 so x equal to 2y minus 10 
nice so just put that into that and that should give me the radial center so 2y minus 10 times 7 that's 14y minus 70 minus 8y plus 8y plus 16 equal to 0 so 14 minus 8 is 6 6y equal to 70 minus 16 that's 60 minus 6 which is 54 so y is 9 nice so x is 18 minus 10 which is 8 so 8 comma 9 is the center of this circle nice and it is uh, what does it tell us orthogonally right so it is intersecting these circles orthogonally so uh, right so this is one of the circles at least is the main circle it is centered at 8 comma 9 and this is one of these circles uh, x squared plus y squared minus 2x plus 3y minus 7 equal to 0 and we can do the same thing right the power of this point with respect to uh, this circle that should give me the r squared right because the tangent the tangent over here that has distance r correct so that should be it that's gonna give me r squared so let's put 8 comma 9 into this equation 8 squared is 64 plus 81 minus 16 plus 27 minus 7 equal to 0 so this thing is just 20 okay uh, 20 this is 84 84 plus 81 is 165 minus 16 which is uh, what was I doing oh yeah uh, 1 4 and then 15 minus 6 is 9 149 149 have I seen that number somewhere no I have not did I do it correctly so I have to put it in one of these right 8 comma 9 64 plus 81 minus 16 plus 27 minus 7 so this is 20 this is 4 this is 4 so it's just 68 plus 81 which yes it is 149 so that's it yeah that should be it so x minus 8 squared plus y minus 9 squared equal to 149 that that is correct that is the equation of this circle let's try to break this out so x minus 16x oops x squared minus 16x uh plus y squared minus minus 18x equal to 149 uh, minus 64 minus 81 is 149 minus 145 which is 4 yep x squared plus y squared minus 16x actually just write it over here so x squared uh, plus y squared minus 16x minus 18y equal to 4 I mean minus 4 equal to 0 cool let's go to the next question angle of intersection of the circles x squared plus y squared equal to 16 and x squared plus y squared minus 4x minus 4y minus 8 equal to 0 right so angle of intersection how do we do this first of all find the let's just do this Oops. let's just draw this first of all so over here this is centered like 0, 0. the radius is 4 and let's just draw another circle this is centered at 2 comma 2 what's the radius it is 8 plus uh, 8 plus 4 plus 4 which is 16 that's the radius squared so radius is actually 4 hmm that's weird what is this distance this distance is 2 square root 2 okay 2 square root 2 squared is 8 and 4 square plus 4 square that's <laughs> it's not not at all need to 8 hmm. this is the smallest side actually okay not a big deal mm -hmm. did I solve it correctly yes did actually solve it correctly right so let's just look at this uh, what do we call it I don't know at this angle no triangle yeah it's the triangle over here this is 4 this is 4 this is 2 square root 2 and we found and we want to find what this angle is okay call this theta 
so this angle should be theta by 2 right so sine theta by 2 is 2 square root 2 upon 4 which is 1 by square root 2 so theta by 2 that should be 45 degrees which means theta is 90 degrees wait no no that cannot be because 2 square root 2 squared is 8 right and 8 is 8 is not 16 plus 16 so that does not make sense what 1 by square root 2 that is 45 degrees obviously how can oh sorry it's <laughs> it's square root 2 over there not 2 square root 2 oh okay this is a this is really weird right so it is square root 2 not 2 square root 2 so this should be it is square root 2 upon 4 it it is not anything else right It'll be like half of 1 by square root 2 whatever uh, so what do we get we just get that sine theta by 2 okay what am I doing theta by 2 sorry theta by 2 is sine inverse of square root 2 by 4 which means theta is 2 sine inverse inverse sine inverse of square root 2 by 4 just write that down so 2 sine inverse of square root 2 by 4 nice that's one equation of the circle okay equation to the circle orthogonal what equation to the circle equation of the circle orthogonal to the two circles x squared plus y squared minus uh, minus 4x minus 6y plus 11 equal to 0 and this circle has 2x plus 3y equal to 7 as diameter is okay so once again it's orthogonal to two circles right that's nice so that means that the radial axis contains the center so let's just find the radial axis first of all uh, it has to be 4x minus 6y plus 11 equal to 0 yeah minus 4x so 6x minus 2y if i'm not wrong yeah that looks correct okay and minus minus 10 equal to 0 so 3x minus y minus 5 equal to 0 so y equal to 3x minus 5 hmm. first equation and then it is also passing right passing through 2x plus 3y equal to 7 that is the diameter they said which means it contains the circle as well uh, the center as well so let's just solve these two equations so 2x plus 3y is 3 times 6 times so 9x minus 15 equal to 7 so 11x equal to 22 so x equal to 2 nice x equal to 2 so y is 1 so 2 comma 1 is the center okay what about the radius right so just put this into one of those into one of those equations let's where is it where did we go okay ninth question so put this into one of these so 2 squared is 4 plus 1 squared is 1 minus 4x so minus 8 minus 6y minus 6 plus 11 equal to 0 it's not equal to 6 it's equal to r squared r squared so r squared equals to uh, this thing is 5 right so 5 plus 11 is 16 this thing is 14 so it's 2 yeah correct r squared is 2 so x minus 2 squared plus y minus 1 squared equal to r squared which means x squared minus 4x plus 4 plus y squared minus 2x plus 1 equal to 2 it's equal to 2 so x squared plus y squared minus 4x it's y minus 2y 4 plus 1 5 minus 2 is 3 so plus 3 equal to 0 Let's set it down x squared plus y squared minus 4x minus 2y plus 3 equal to 0 next question the locus of the centers of the circle passing through the intersection of the circles x squared plus y squared equal to 1 and x squared plus y squared minus 2x plus y equal to 0 mm -hmm. centers of the circles passing through the intersections of these two circles okay 
Uh, what? I don't get it. Centers, the locus of the centers of the circles passing through the intersection. What do you mean passing through the intersection? I just do not get what you're talking about. Okay, so these two circles are going to intersect, right, at two places. And then the centers of the circle. Oh, uh, passing through. Okay, I get it. I get it. Sorry, I thought they were like centered at those two points or something like that. I just, okay, why does this keep happening to me? Right, this is actually very easy. Yes, very, very easy. Uh, so I guess it should be the thing. X squared plus Y squared minus 2X plus Y plus lambda times X squared plus Y squared equal to Y squared minus 1 equal to 0. Right, that's it. That is the, what do we call it? Uh, that's the equation of those centers. Wait, not the centers. The circles. Wait, that's the equation of the circle. Huh. Okay. And you want the equation of the centers, right? Oh, okay. So that's not actually what we wanted. <laughs> Fine. Let's deal with this geometry. This is the first circle. This is another circle. This is another circle. You got the radial axis. Okay. And then you got a whole family of circles which is passing through these two points. And the center, center of circle, right? If we drop a perpendicular from this point to that point, actually to that line, that line we will also bisect this segment so the perpendicular bisector of this segment that is the line on which all of these centers are lying right so that's that's fairly easy to do correct so what's the radial axis the radial axis is actually why are we even doing this first of all just find uh, where these two these two circles have their centers so x squared plus y squared equal to 1, yes, it's 0, 0. x squared plus y squared minus 2x plus y equal to 0. Okay. And that's a weird thing. Okay. What? So this has its center at um, 1, comma, minus 1 by 2. Right. So these are those two points which are also going to lie on this line. So that's that's sufficient information to find this line right so minus 1 by 2 minus 0 upon 1 minus 0 that is y minus 0 upon x minus 0 correct so minus 1 by 2 is y upon x so 2y plus x equal to 0 that should be the the line right where was I 10th question so 2y plus x equal to 0 that should be doing it Next question. The circles x squared plus y squared minus 8x plus 2y plus 8 equal to 0 and x squared plus y squared minus 2x minus 6y plus 10 minus a squared equal to 0 have exactly two common tangents then is then then what is okay then then a is that should be the question maybe. So the sir these two circles have exactly two common tangents hmm. oh okay so that means right that means that they are intersecting at two places right so I think I know this one so if two circles are not at all intersecting then they will be having a lot of common tangents how many this one this one sorry bad drawing and this one and this one right so they will be having four common tangents uh, if the circles are are having contact with each other externally, right, then they are going to have three common tangents. Okay, if those two circles are intersecting each other like this, then they have exactly two common tangents. And if these circles are like this, right, they are 
touching each other internally then they have exactly one common tangent okay cool so yeah that should be that should be quite nice okay so we we have that these two circles have exactly two common tangents which means they are intersecting okay so because they are intersecting the distance right the distance between their centers that is less than r1 plus r2 right so whenever these are just touching externally the the distance is actually equal to r1 plus r2 right and right now it is less than r1 plus r2 because they are intersecting at two points uh, and also this distance should be i think it should be bigger than r1 minus r2 the mod of that right yes so this should be bigger than r1 minus r2 assuming r1 is bigger than r2 right so let's just find r1 and r2 first of all so for this circle uh what's the center the center is mm, four comma minus one what's the radius so it's 16 plus 1 minus 8 which has to be 9 okay so r1 is 3 so this thing is 3 usually one of these has to be 3 whatever and this what 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 center does this have it has center 1 comma 3 okay and radius okay, this is radius 3 and the radius is uh, 1 squared is 1 plus 3 squared is 9 plus a squared minus 10 oh this cancels so the radius is a over here okay nice so mod of 3 minus a is less than b which is less than uh, 3 plus a let's find d first of all over here d is 4 minus 1 squared which is 3 squared plus 4 squared square root of 1 which is 5 so d is 5 hmm. nice so first information it gives us is a is bigger than minus a is bigger than uh, two nice so a is bigger than two but does that necessarily mean that this will be positive i don't know and uh, using this this uh, inequality we can say maybe three minus a squared is less than 25 right so that means nine minus six a plus a squared is less than 25 so a squared uh, minus 6a minus so minus 25 minus 9 that is 16 is, le is, is less than 0 okay can we factor it um, 8 and 2 maybe we can right. so a minus 8 into a plus 2 is less than 0 and we know that a is bigger than 2 right so a is positive so this thing is this is definitely positive so don't even consider that so a is less than 8 hmm. yeah that's it <laughs> right so that's nice so okay and what are we supposed to find then a is right so a is in this range 2 to 8 and yeah that should be it that that's gonna give me two common tangents every single time right if i choose any value of a from two to eight we should be getting something right we should be getting two tangents oh yeah two is less than mod a is i mean i assumed a is positive right so that's why i got two to eight but in reality uh, the radius over here that should be mod of a but you get it right so this is obviously correct i mean our solution is not picture perfect but you get it okay mm -hmm. wait what they actually gave us an answer how just how how can they give us an answer because this is not even a circle <laughs> that doesn't make sense okay okay fine accept this second this is y plus 3x equal to 4 yes that's correct c uh, sorry third c by 2 and d by 2 yes fourth yes correct fifth where is fifth wait where is fifth 
I don't know. Uh, 3 into x plus minus minus plus 29y. Wait, that's not what we got. Okay, we got most of it at least. So, I don't know. I don't think it's actually incorrect, but yeah, uh, we did a good job. We know the method at least. Okay, seventh. Yes, that's correct. Eighth, pi minus cosine inverse of three by four. What? Wait, what? That doesn't make sense. This is centered at zero comma zero. This is centered at two comma two. Distance is two square root two, which has uh, the square of that is. 2 square root 2, yeah, the square of that is in fact 8, okay, the first radius is 4, the second radius is 8 plus 4 plus 4, which is 16, right, so, I mean, radius squared is 16, so yes, that is, that's not correct, right, how can it be this thing, let's just draw this triangle once again, you should be having some square roots and stuff, how can it be so, I don't know what this thing is, yeah, that's not correct. Eight, eight is not correct. So right, they have given us a wrong answer. Eight is actually correct, right? But they gave us a wrong answer. Okay, ninth. Yes, that's correct. Tenth. Yeah, nice. Eleventh. I don't know. One. Okay, so we'll. Next time, which one should I do? Mm -hmm. Next time, we will be doing this thing, exercise 1A. And it's a very big exercise. Right? Yeah, yeah a very big exercise. Okay, cool. I've done all the in-chapter exercises now. Okay, I will see you in, in the next one. Bye.